What up? What is up, soul family? It's Shani with Healing Elements. How are you coming again this morning for another podcast and YouTube upload? This time adding to the playlist all about love signs and astrological sun sign compatibility in love. And today's video is all about Taurus. Taurus the bull. Taurus the bulls whom I love in love. I believe they are most passionate in every endeavor that they take in. So passionate and one of my favorite signs to talk about in the art of love. So Taurus bulls are, of course, the second sign in the zodiac after Aries. They are an earth sign and fixed, i.e. the emphasis and symbolic meaning to their bull animal that is tied in to the Taurian sign. The bull is very, very... Um, stubborn, very passionate, very strong. So fixed signs in the Zodiac, Um, you know, Taurus and Scorpio are fixed. They're opposite signs tend to be extremely, you know, passionately convicted and very headstrong. So this plays into when Taurus are in love, very headstrong and very passionate and deeply entrenched into the committed feelings that they have within them. So definitely being a fixed sign and an earth sign as well, sharing the earth sign realm with both Capricorn and Virgo. They are extremely stable, you know, solitude at times and grounded and patient and one of the physical realm. So Taurus, if you're across viewer tends to be you know, slutty, steady and slow in their pace, kind of like the tortoise that wins the race. However, it seems to be that that's a lesson for the rest of the Zodiac, that patience, endurance, slow, pragmatic, practical planning as the Taurus does, and also Virgo Capricorn in the Earth sign realm works and generally accomplishes great goals spread out more efficiently. So Taurus in a relationship is of course passionate and in you know commands and demands and it's entitled everyone is entitled to the equal flow of what is given in love so passionate partners are important to the taurus so best matches generally for all zodiac signs i believe for taurus is within your same earth sign family so taurus and taurus taurus and virgo Taurus and Capricorn are great matches. They understand each other and are able to give and receive equally the grounding nature, but also the passionate times come out equally as well within the bedroom and otherwise, you know, because Taurus desperately needs to feel secure. And that is something that is shared between the earth sign traits as well and is silently spoken, you know, between the earth signs being opposite of water. Water is more flowing and wanting to express what they are missing or desperate about. Taurus, you and other earth signs are in the know that this should be silently expressed and given without having to be asked. So the Taurian philosophy when it comes to a committed relationship is aggressive, passionate, demanding, however, in an enchanting way, because this Torian quality of demanding is a show and a symbol to Torians and earth signs understand this of commitment and dedication and utter loyalty. Basically, Torians are very loyal and dedicated, and this shows love. Also, you know, something that Torians adore is an enduring relationship. So, not saying Torians can't have one night stands or flirtatious, you know, friends with benefits. If you are an earth sign yourself, you will understand though that Torians resonate with a calm, steady, slowly growing, stronger, loving partnership within their life. So again, two earth signs together is beautiful. Also second, I think would be very favorable is of course I'm in a relationship myself, earth and water. So Taurus earth signs with a Scorpio, their opposite, 
has many lessons to teach, although can be polar opposite in many aspects, can be both similar as well, just like opposites attract. So this relationship, you know, earth and water, sometimes people say, oh, that makes mud, but guess what? Mud is beautiful and the lotus flower rises above the mud. So I feel like earth will, Taurians will give water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, somewhere to land to be grounded into, something to be tangibly held onto, like an anchor. And the water is beautiful, is nourishing, is magical, and can quench Taurians' parched, kind of stubborn, and maybe frustrated earthbound moods that spring up every once in a while. So the water can bring the water signs, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer can bring life back. So I do feel, although it is a little bit more of a work, a working complex relationship, work is more involved with a Taurian and water signs compared to Taurians and other earth signs. I think that it is the most compatible for you, Taurus, would be to be with an earth sign. Capricorn, Virgo, or another Taurus who are with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Then when we get into being with fire or air, which fire signs are Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, the fire signs always tend to be just overly, abundantly um, mobile. They are always going, going, creating, very fast-paced, wanting to get goals accomplished quick, even if they have to cut corners sometimes, because sometimes that wins. But the hare does not always win the race. So picture that turtle and hare race. Torians, you would be the tor turtle. So the only thing that could arise that would be a negative factor in those relationships is if the Torian is just overly indated with volatile, quick energy that is not um, compatible with their own. Otherwise, if Torians are, you know, quick on their feet or don't mind that kind of fast pace or don't mind staying in their own zone, taking their time with their projects while their fire sign partner goes out, there can be a lot of compatibility, especially, I believe, with a Taurus and Sagittarius. I feel like that would be uh, one of the most favorable matches. Taurus and Leo as well are beautiful. I feel that they have just as much equal passion in their heart. I feel like the Taurian understands the Leo's heart chakra and aggressive, sometimes prideful behavior of Leo can be shared with Taurians. I feel that they are also very much uh, social in nature, even though Taurus is an earth sign. I feel Taurus may be the most social out of the earth sign group. So I feel that that is a match. When we're talking about air signs with Taurians, meaning in Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, we do get into a little bit more, I believe, of a challenging arena for committed relationships. Even though I feel that Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra appreciate Taurus and vice versa, they complement each other, but there is a deep seated emotional understanding and spirituality within Taurus grounded to the earth and air signs of course are up in the air very sometimes able to be like a gas and uh, quickly rise away from any kind of attachments and Taurus are definitely one of the signs who actually admire attachments and do not favor detaching so you know um, even though the fire signs can breathe life you know, and have challenges. I feel that air can also maybe evaporate any uh, water on the surface, maybe can come in after a very trying relationship with another water sign didn't work out and be a breath of fresh air, so to speak, for the Taurian. However, I would say out of all of the signs, most challenging to withstand the long haul, but not a bad thing. Um, in love, you know, many Taurians, again, will stay with partners who may have some sort of toxic behavior toward them just because, again, the nature, just like, hey, I'm humble, I'll admit it, being a Pisces, I also have that. The nature to want to stay to a commitment, stay to an attachment. But sometimes, Taurus, in love, that can be detrimental to you. However, you are such a tried and true person with perseverance and patience, like I said, you are also committed to self once you yourself are actualizing this and put, you know, the steps and motions to change. 
you know, um, it's just the thought of separating or finding someone new that is daunting to you. But once breaking through, um, you know, once you let go of that familiar person um, and get through that discomfort, it's beautiful to see a Taurus rebound into a very flourishing relationship. And in particular, one in which perhaps has not been with another earth sign. I feel if you've been with another sign and you find kinship with another Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo, after a relationship, you will have a spark of hope. And I've seen Taurus look as if they are fly, you know, floating like on air as if you are a Leo or a Gemini, just very ecstatic and reborn. So I feel like if your partner, you know, appreciates the simple pleasures of life as you do, the aestheticness, and if you appreciate your Taurus and definitely become driven to no limit um, to give the wealth of your heart to a Taurian, that is what Taurus truly appreciate. Not so much attention. A lot of people will, you know, attribute Taurian energy to the sign previous to them. They do have a little bit of that, having gone through that incarnation cycle of the zodiac. Aries being the self, the first fire sign of self, and you know, really, truly sticking to that pattern of, you know, attention on self. Taurians truly, if in a relationship, want attention because of the way it makes them feel in a natural, spiritual connectedness, soul to soul connection way, not so much wanting the attention, attention for the high, which is a lesson that Aries, the sun sign Aries before you Taurus learns. So guys, this was all about quick rendition, Taurus, the bull, the earth sign, fixed sign in love. I thank you so much always and forever for all your support and just good vibage, wishing you positive intent always as we have struggles throughout life and just here on healing elements to try to give you guys a little spot of distraction or positive place to go to hear some messages to uplift you or whatnot. So blessings, love and light, soul fam. I appreciate the comments, the likes, the subscriptions, the shares, everything is more than appreciated. And I send you tons of good vibes through the universe.